for different uh, business models, the different perspectives to this topic. And we're going to start with uh, <coughs> Luke. So all yours. Thank you. Good morning to you all. I'm very happy to, uh, to be here today to touch the subject of audience and communities from the perspective of a B2C platform, a European B2C platform uh, that I manage, which is called uh, Isneo. I hope the presentation will start. Uh, yeah, OK, that's us. Uh, so the idea for me today is not to say or to pretend that we do better than others or that we are uh, uh, ex excellent at uh, managing communities. It's just to share with you, very simply, uh, how we operate and uh, what have been our latest findings in terms of managing communities. To, um, to start with that, and I will rush a little bit this presentation because we are a little bit late, so uh, I'm just going to remind you, for those who don't know us, uh, who we are. So we are the number one pure player uh, application in terms of digital graphic stories in Europe. We have uh, uh, currently aggregated, I don't know, uh, content from 250 publishers from uh, all uh, very different countries. We, operate, we are based in Paris. We operate in five languages. And uh, just to share uh, one, one figure, last year we have generated 4 million reads uh, on the platform. So that means uh, 4 million digital comic books that have been read on the Isneo platform. So we basically, uh, our mission consists in converting digital entertainment users into readers. We're not trying to convert print readers to, uh, digital, uh, uh, into digital reading. We, we, we do the contrary. So that's, that's, that's important. And we do that on smartphones because we believe this is the, 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 the true entry point for uh, digital content for most people today. And our value proposition con uh, con as community uh, uh, in that, and that's what I want to touch briefly uh, with you now. Uh, being a pure player means that we don't address everybody. So it means that we have to decide on which communities we are addressing. And, uh, and also, uh, choosing to be a pure player means that we have to, uh, to decide uh, with, on which level of specialization we want to be. Because there are, there, there are always uh, platforms that are uh, more specialist than yourself. Like, for instance, in our case, uh, uh, Korean Webtoon platforms are more speciali specialized than what we are. And uh, in return, Amazon is much less specialized than what we are. So this level of granularity, we have to adjust uh, all the time. And, uh, and this defines somehow uh, what is our addressable audience. And defining the audience, in that process of defining the audience, uh, defining the content is key because, of course, content goes with uh, audiences. And, uh, and this is something which is not granted forever. Uh, of course, it is uh, obvious that we, uh, as, as, a, as a digital comic book platform, had to uh, offer uh, comic books, uh, mangas, uh, 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 graphic novels, etc. But we have had to add webtoons, for instance, uh, which was not granted uh, from before. And the question remains, do we have to offer, for instance, uh, audiobooks uh, derived from, from comic books? Do we have to uh, do animes or light novels? So it's, uh, it's an ongoing process. It's never uh, the case that we decide this is the content, this is the audience. We always have to ad adapt uh, our content and adapt our audiences. And also, one issue we have found that is that, uh, basically, we always have also to adjust the, the balancing of what is good for the community and what is good for the sales. Uh, because uh, all these two, these two uh, uh, tip type of contents, uh, they all fight for the same space on the home page of the platform or on the page in, uh, in the application. So it's always a question of balancing uh, uh, what is uh, really uh, uh, meant for the community and what is really meant for selling the content. Bearing in mind that to sell the content, we have to uh, go uh, to have the user go f through the uh, customer, a certain customer journey, which includes the, uh, engaging, being engaged in the community. So basically, the marketing contents can be created by the audience, of course. And, uh, and, and, the com and I checked before coming here, uh, I checked the number of uh, user comments we add on the platform currently, which is very low, 3,000 only. And, uh, and this is, so that's why we're not perfect, by the way. But uh, 3,000 is very low, and it's 
it's due to the fact that for historical reasons, we limit the, 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 the comments, the number of comments, uh, um, based on the size of the comments. It's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it must be uh, no less than one paragraph, so, which is a, a strong limitation because for most people, writing a paragraph about the, the book you've read is, is, is a strong challenge, actually. Uh, so we are going to change that very soon, uh, introducing the uh, ability to allow for uh, much shorter uh, uh, comments, allowing for the con uh, conversation also between the comments so that people can respond uh, to each other. So that's going to change the, uh, the whole thing. Because when you look at the user ratings, putting uh, a, a star or two stars or three stars uh, in front of the book you've read is much easier, of course, than writing uh, a full comment. So the result is that we have 870,000 uh, user ratings currently on the platform. So it proves that people want to engage, but in a very simple way. And uh, we have what uh, maybe I will insist on, which is the, uh, what we call the super readers program, which is only available in French for the time being. But it's actually uh, quite interesting, I find, and quite maybe not unique, but special to his neo. Is that wh what is a super reader? A super reader is a user who is uh, committed to, uh, was committed to us to, uh, to um, uh, publish uh, reviews, comments on the book he, uh, he has read on a regular basis. Uh, uh, and, uh, and for free. Uh, the only reward he gets is the free ebook uh, that he has read. And currently, uh, we have, uh, have, we have uh, something like 50 uh, super readers active currently on the, on the platform, and they have uh, written so far 13,000 reviews, uh, which are quite deep and interesting. And, um, and currently, we have a production of 300 uh, uh, reviews a, a, a month by, by, by all these people. And last week, we, we organized, uh, uh, for the first time, a seminar for, for this uh, super online seminar, of course, uh, for these uh, super readers, and actually, I've been very impressed by the level of engagement of of these uh, of these people. They are really of these users. They are extremely engaged uh, to to a degree that is uh, that I I wasn't real realizing before. It's um, it's it's amazing to see the passion they have for the content, but also for the platform. They feel like participating in our development, uh, and and we believe that this is a, a strong program that we are going to to. We have already started to do that in English. It's going to be uh, coming in the other languages uh, going forward. And now we have asked them to go uh, to do even more in producing what we call uh, univers, which basically are articles based on a thematic uh, subject, like, for instance, uh, the, the 10 best uh, comic book uh, dealing with uh, dystopia, for instance, uh, this sort, which, which implies that they, it requires uh, a certain level of, uh, of understanding of the, 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 the available catalog, uh, the ability to write about uh, uh, different uh, uh, authors and, uh, and books. So it's quite uh, demanding, uh, actually, and um, that's why it's starting. But it's, uh, we found here also that these guys are very much uh, engaged, and they can use, of course, this content for their own purpose. But it's, but it's uh, very uh, SEO-friendly, so very useful for, 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 for us. And also, going further, uh, we, have, uh, we are currently uh, seeing that uh, users can also contribute to the content itself. Uh, last summer, we organized a contest between uh, our users, uh, um, uh, offering them to submit uh, Webtoon projects to be published by Isneo on exclusivity. And, and, and we were very happily surprised by the level of the answer we got from the users uh, uh, in terms of quality and in terms of quantity. We have more than 100 submissions, uh, which is quite uh, impressive uh, from our perspective. So next year, we will be publishing the three first Webtoon series originated from this, uh, this uh, contest. And finally, uh, the question is, uh, uh, but this uh, community and, uh, and audience uh, uh, the, the theme, uh, the, why do we read? And this is really the question we ask ourselves on a regular basis. Uh, I know that uh, yesterday the, uh, uh, some eminent uh, experts have already been explaining <laughs> and giving reason why we read, so I don't want to compete with that. Uh, but just to say that uh, from our perspective, it's, it seems really uh, uh, strong that, that users uh, or, or readers, they read 
um, because they want to socialize. Uh, social reading is a much more social uh, um, activity than what we, we would think uh, normally, I, I believe. Uh, when, you, when, when some and most people do when they read, they want to, sh to, to comment on what they've read, they want to share this comment and, uh, with colleagues, with uh, friends and relatives, and, and, and in digital it is the same, so we have to allow for this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, sharing of views about uh, books, uh, uh, comic books in our case, uh, in order to, have, uh, to help discovery, because discovery can, is not just a question of IA. The IA will allow, of course, discovery in uh, submitting and, uh, and offering new contents to, to, to users, uh, but, but, uh, but human uh, discovery is very important, even in digital. And of course, uh, creation of content adds to this, uh, to this circle. That's what I wanted to, uh, to share with you today. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Luke. Uh, one, one question before you go in, Fabrice. Uh, you mentioned at the beginning that I thought it was very interesting, your aim to convert entertainment users into readers. Yeah. Yeah, that's very important to us because we have uh, originally, well, we have been uh, around for 10 years in, at Isneo, and at the very beginning, the temptation was to try and convert, uh, to convert print book readers into digital readers. It doesn't work that much, actually. And, uh, yeah. and today, we are very much focused on, on, uh, on addressing millennials, on addressing people who are already consuming digital entertainment content. And we go where they are. For instance, we have developed an application on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, to address uh, video game players who are used to find their entertainment in, on digital. Uh, and most of them do not just read at all. Uh, so we, what we want is that, and that's, that has become our main mission in a way, is to try and help the, uh, the, the, the reading from the, uh, the, 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 this, uh, this uh, millennials and, and youngest generation. No, I think it's very smart because one of the issues of the publishing industry is that we need to create new audiences. We rely on the same heavy readers, uh, the same readers, and they're getting old. Uh, and I think one of the business opportunities is creating, yes, unfortunately. To expand, um, yeah. And I just, <laughs> it's creating uh, new audiences. Uh, and as you said, a, a good a target could be people who are entertaining themselves with other formats, other storytelling, and hopefully discovering, in this case, uh, comics and graphic books. We'll go deeper into it.